Good morning everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see in the title of today's video, we're doing a very, very realistic week in my life. Um, um, combination of work, maybe errands, I don't know. I don't know what, what this week is really given. But um, we're obviously starting off at work. So for those who are new here, my name is Kimberly. Um, I go by the alias Cash, but uh, my name is Kimberly. I am a family nurse practitioner here in New York. And I have been practicing um, for the past like four years. So um, I I work Monday through Friday, nine to five in an outpatient setting. Um, and you probably saw clips before this where I was just like just tidying up my area and things like that. But um, I wanna take you guys along with me. For those of you who don't know really what a nurse practitioner does or what a nurse practitioner is, I um, just wanna take you guys along with me to see just how my workflow is, if I could, if I can show that. If I can't really capture that, I'm just gonna link some videos down below of where I've done like, you know, um, just, other videos like related to like nurse practitioner flows and things like that but for those of you who are OGs who have been here for the longest who have been here since I started um, I'm, I think this week is gonna show you guys just how different my life has changed since I've left the bedside so I used to work a I used to work full-time as a registered nurse um, I practiced for eight years at, at the bedside which allowed me to work three days a week and have essentially like four days off um, and I used to pick up part-time shifts here at this clinic or for this co company um, two days a week so technically I worked five days but really really I only worked three days because I could have just not came on the other two days if I happened to not want to because I was like kind of like per diem type of thing but since I've been working full-time here at the clinic um, it, it did it was an adjustment especially like having to get up every single day <laughs> work nine to five um, not work the night shift which is what I what I'm used to it 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 took a while to get used to and even now it still is a little I still feel a little bit like like I really miss the three-day flexibility so let me prop you guys up here and give you guys a quick rundown of the day because I'm about to get started I have a lot of patients kind of like still waiting so um Monday through Friday nine to five um Mondays are my busiest days Mondays and sometimes Fridays I find that Fridays are busy because people want to like not go to work <laughs> come to the clinic get sick notes or um people sometimes are traveling and they want to make sure that they have their stuff right situated for the weekends but on mondays my schedule is basically set to um to accommodate walk-ins towards the end of the day so um, typically on a day-to-day -day, my quota um, is about 21 patients so sometimes I would already have 21 patients already scheduled from like let's say Tuesday to Friday 21 patients on the panel and if I have a few walk-ins here or there that kind of maybe tips me over a little bit or actually puts me exactly at 21 because you can have people who are scheduled and they don't come but on Mondays I normally have a shorter panel of patients like scheduled and then at the at the end of the day typically around like from one down is when people are able to come in as walk-ins so the facility that I work for um they people use this as both like a primary care facility and also like a clinic so you do have some patients who have been following with their providers for years and you have some people who literally just come in for like sick complaints and you know little miscellaneous things that are not necessarily cumbersome but this week specifically is a little bit it's gonna be a little bit different because um a couple of my colleagues are not here so i don't think today looks like a typical monday for me because i already see one two i think i see like three walk-ins already and the time now is 9:33. so today's gonna be a fast day we're gonna be moving very very quick 
very very quickly um and um yeah we about to get started how you doing today i'm good how are you oh well thank you good. so we're going over your extra results yes all right so are you been, are you still having any pain um yeah just generally like just the alignment i think it's kind of what's because mm -hmm. your x-ray came back completely normal mm -hmm. okay. the hip came because they did two views right they did your hip and they yes. did your knee yes so both your hip and your knee came back as unremarkable x-rays no okay. fractures i mean i i didn't anticipate any fractures because yeah. you didn't fall or anything yeah but it's not suggestive it's not suggesting any like misalignment it's not suggesting okay. any early any early arthritis or anything okay so what would you like would you like to try maybe physical therapy yeah I all right i lost the, the <laughs> no problem i can reprint it for you but I, at least um, I'm going to give you a copy of this x-ray result so you can see that yeah. it's normal. Because sometimes, like, with the hips, if it shows, like, okay, you might have a little bit of, like, early arthritis, it will make sense as to why you're having the pain. Yeah. So, it's, so it's, it's, is it as consistent and as persistent as it was when you, when you explained it to me um, the last time? Or? Yeah, I feel like it's been, like, a few years of just, like, constant. It's not, like, always, like, horrible, but, like, there's times where, like, it just really hurts. But... I think yeah, the back is definitely the main thing. It's just the hip or something like my my bones are always cracking, so that always just it's just specifically like my hip will be like boom. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of scary, but okay, it's normal then that's fine. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. No normal is good, but. Sometimes normal, normal could also be annoying because at the end of the day, the symptoms are still the normal. symptoms, you yeah. know? So what I want to do, let me just see. Let me just see. Um, how long ago was it? March, April, May, June. Okay, I could still print that one. And um, for pain, do you take anything for pain? Mm -mm. Do you need anything for pain? Or is it no, bearable? Yeah, okay. it's definitely bearable. Okay. So I'll print out the referral for you. Um, and uh, did, you, did you start doing research as to where you might want to go to physical therapy? I'm not sure yet. I have to see where my insurance would take. Um, Perfect. Because I, um, I mean, I'll give you a list of places that are within the area if I didn't do so already. Yeah. Um, if, and if, you know, if any of them don't take insurance, then, you know. Yes. I've been trying to tell patients to try their best to um, get physical therapy places that kind of are like sports medicine. Okay. Because I find that the therapy places that help with sports-related injuries are a little bit more aggressive. Mm. And it might be a little bit more intense than the regular physical therapy spots. Because I'll be honest, I, go, I get physical therapy right now, mm. and it's not the best. It's not, <laughs> but I'm just trying to, like, push it through because it's not, I mean, my, 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 my complaints are not severe. Mm. But but if I, if I were to go to somewhere that really, really manages, you know, mm. injuries, I feel I probably would get a better, okay. a better yeah, experience. So anything like sports related. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I feel like, you know, people sometimes like, don't believe me when I'm telling them that I'm experiencing it. So I'm like... It's fine. Just do whatever is intense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me um let me give you this and then also um the referral for you too. So thank you. You're welcome. And then, um I don't know if this is like I should tell you this, but um I made my appointment with an allergy person for okay. me. And then but like two weeks ago I got bronchitis and they gave me an inhaler and stuff. So I might I don't know if like I would have to come back to you to get an inhaler or like I should just wait till the May um appointment but like i think i have adult asthma like i never had asthma as a child but then i like when i run and stuff i'll be wheezing but i didn't think that was anything bad until when i got bronchitis i was like yeah no i feel like my lungs are just like bad you know so how often do you use the pump that they gave you um i they told me it's limited so i'm trying not to use it all but i've been using it like once every three days or something like okay. when i feel you know like i can't breathe um you might probably run out of it by the time May, May 23rd comes. Okay. Um, and it's wheezing only when you're kind of just like exerting yourself, well, right? Well, when I had bronchitis, it was like all the time. Okay. Like the Ventolin, which is the albuterol that I'm sending, albuterol, which yeah, is what you get in. It's, it's really considered, it's an asthma treatment, but it's like a short term. It's a short acting okay. asthma treatment. Okay. If it gets to the point where you start to notice that you're using the pump four times, five times per day, mm -hmm. And without it, you're just wheezing, wheezing. Then it's like, all right, you definitely have asthma, and we need to probably give you something more long term, which would be like a lifelong thing. Yeah. But for right now, it's like a quick. Yeah. Okay. Thank a quick you. Thing. You're okay. welcome. Because I also I have to quit smoking, and I like tried to smoke once, and like I could not. So I feel like my lungs. I probably can't smoke anymore. I just 
Yeah. Well, smoking definitely also doesn't help, no, no, you know. So <laughs> I couldn't even get back in and like give you guys clips of me servicing my patients because it was getting real heavy. Um, <laughs> it was getting real, real busy today, real crazy. So, um, the time now is 3.13. I'm now going to take lunch. Um, typically, when the weather is nice, I would go outside and have lunch in my car. Or sometimes I would, um, depending on my day, I, I can skip lunch, work all the way through, and leave at 4 o'clock. But, hold on a second. But I'm actually gonna have lunch um, just in the office, in the room. Um, probably do a few of my telephonic visits. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier on, but I like, um, I have, we do televisits and telehealth visits for our patients. And um, I think every provider here has, kinda has their own flow. I prefer for my telephonic visits to be done at the end of the day because the clinic closes by five, but by four o'clock we're already kinda like, you know, winding down and you know pay, there aren't a lot of patients in the office so i prefer to just call my tellies when i'm actually free i don't like to call them when patients are in the office because again we have walk-ins and we also have scheduled patients it gets so chaotic so yes um because i had the tele visits um scheduled for four o'clock i might as well just try to do them like do them while i'm eating because i don't really have i mean i should I shouldn't be doing what I'm eating, but I'm gonna do what I'm eating because I'm trying to be done for the day. I'm really, really tired. Um, not physically, <laughs> but just a little bit like mentally, I'm a little bit tired. Emotionally, I'm still good. I like to start my, hold on a second. Sorry, gotta sanitize. I like to start my weeks off by um, trying to be positive <laughs> because that helps to usher in the energies that I would need to make it through the rest of the week but sometimes it's just it's hard to really fake the funk i know like there is i'm not sure if there was a say there's a saying or if there's any um theory that shows like if you actually fake yourself <clears throat> into believing that you're having a good day a, that you're having a good day or you're in a good mood you're gonna have one so normally that happens for me and sometimes it's just like a no but after that for lunch what are we doing today we're doing a little mix Got my mixed vegetables here, barbecue chicken, chicken and sauce, literally grains of black rice because I just put everything together for me like yesterday. Yesterday was um, a resurrection Sunday, so this is like my dinner from like my home mixed in with dinner from my, my boyfriend's family. So, that is that one that y'all? I'll see y'all when I get out of here. Camilo, commercial free mix over 97 minutes. All right, y'all. All right, so I'm going to get this one take and one take only. Um, It is now 5.02. I've left. I left around like 4.58 um because i was done for the day so i've definitely seen met my quota my quota is about 21 um and my job is not we're not really hung up on the numbers so much like i could see 10 patients and i could see 110 patients and still get paid the same we don't get paid the providers we don't get paid per patient but the organization likes to give us an idea of how many patients we should we should try to meet or uh, target so that we can just make sure that we stay afloat and keep the lights on in the place so um I, yeah i know i, I saw about like above, above 21 but not too much like maybe like 23 or something like that but nevertheless on my mondays um i have two things that are already that are always scheduled i have a physical therapy uh which i attend for my neck and my back and also i have a gym like i actually go to the gym i don't know if you guys can kind of see that my face is getting just a little bit smaller because I normally put on weight in my face. I really see it whenever I'm, you know, a little bit above my normal. But I've basically been consistent, consistently going to the gym um, three times a week since the end of January. I can't say that I, how, how much I've lost because I don't really see it on the scale. But I, I know I feel it. 
I see it, people see it. So um, <clears throat> my gym sessions normally start around 7.30. So my days, my Mondays are relatively long. yesterday yesterday was pretty good after the gym I pretty much came home and just eventually just wind down I had a few things to take care of um, and boom I was in bed uh, and uh, practically falling asleep around 12 o'clock so um, Tuesdays are the start of my regular flow for work which means I already have like you know a full panel of patients and we have some structure where I have slots in the morning that I allocate for walk-ins, maybe slots in the afternoon that I allocate for walk-ins. Today, um, the weather is not the nicest here in New York. It's 45 degrees per my car. I don't know if there's a difference, you know, outside. But 45 degrees per my car, and um, sometimes when the weather is not the nicest, I patients don't want to come out. So um, usually. If my days run slow, I normally just really, really just push lunch to the back burner and just leave at 4 o'clock because by 4 o'clock, like I said, the clinic is relatively like, you know, nothing's really happening at that time. So, fingers crossed, it's a really, really light day, nothing too crazy. I wanted to share with you guys, so I don't normally do breakfast all the time because breakfast really weighs me down and makes me feel like I can't eat like lunch or anything. So, I tried, I made these overnight oats. I'm not sure if you guys, some of you guys probably have heard of it, but... Now, for those who haven't, it's oatmeal that is not cooked. It basically cooks itself. It's not cooked on a stove. It's not. There's no heat applied. Um, it basically just cooks itself by absorbing the milk that you put in there. So that's what I have here. And I have like some almonds at the bottom, coconut flakes. I'm gonna see if I like it because I'm doing this to for a couple of things. Number one, because you know I'm on this little fitness journey. Number two, I normally drink coffee in the mornings to help me move my bowels and I want to just deviate from that because all that is, is unnecessary. And number three, I just want to get healthy. I, oh my, it's so good for you. It's good for your cholesterol and this other stuff. I got chia seeds in here, which is amazing for your cholesterol, amazing for your digestion, amazing for your immune system, etc., etc. So yeah, guys, I'm going to see y'all at work. As you can see, I put a little effort in today. Um, don't be surprised. Um, throughout this week, you're going to see me looking fugly. You might see me looking cute and somewhere in between. So today's one of the days that I actually put effort in. But as soon as I get that, I'm going to put my bonnet up. Because I can't have my hair flying all around because I actually do touch my patients. For those providers who don't. I actually do touch my patients and I don't like my hair like leaning all over and them and stuff like that. So I'll be there in a few minutes. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So the time now is 11:40. Um, the day is it's going not too crazy. Um, it's not too busy or hectic, but nonetheless, it's going. I ate some of my oats, which are not bad, but I could use more maple syrup in there, so I'll adjust it for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try to leave early today, so if I don't come in. Um, while I'm working is because I'm going to skip lunch, do all of my work for the end of the day, and try to be out of here by 4 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We're halfway through the week. Thank God for that. Um, my energy is just a little bit low today because I have a bit of a headache. Um, only on this side. 3 out of 10 <laughs> in nature. Um, I'm assuming it may have been... From the fact that I didn't drink it. Sorry, I was on my phone. Um, I it's maybe me not having enough water yesterday has something to do with it. Um, the overnight oats situation, I need to really figure out how I'm gonna rock with it because me having them in the morning, 
makes me unable to eat lunch because I'm just so full. But so yesterday I, I had the oats. I had like you know throughout a span of maybe like two hours. I was taking little bites, little bites here until I finished it. And then I had a chicken wrap for lunch. But baby, like I and then the chicken wrap had like tons of vegetables. So I'm on like fiber overload, distended, gassy, just a mess. So I also I mean because I was so like full and just like oh. I didn't drink a lot of water yesterday, so I think that might have something to do with it. But I have water today to kind of make up for it. So um, we're here early enough. I have one patient already here. She had a ton. She has a ten o'clock appointment. She's here right now. So technically, um, there are a few patients who are registering right now who I should wait for. But I think I'm just gonna jump into it. Um, I have some paperwork, like I said that I, um, like I told you guys, I have some paperwork to complete. When it breeze through that, I start our day. Date. it's 11 22 <laughs> um my headache is still here but i don't care it is busy today it is very busy i'm taking a chocolate break because i forgot like i deserve it it's 11 22 thus far i've seen one two three four five six seven eight nine patients um i don't know if i share this with you guys but we don't really do like 15 minute time slots with patients because some place some places they're very very strict you have 15 minutes to do your entire visit whatever's not taken care take, taken care of in 15 minutes then gets pushed like another visit sometimes i have patients that, that are sitting in my room for five minutes i have patients that sit in my room for sometimes 30 minutes depending on like what they're here for so um if you do the math if I was seeing my patients in 15 minute increments, then by me saying that I've seen this many patients within the last two and a half hours, it makes sense. But again, it, you know, it, the visits, they, they vary. Um, like I had patients today that came from the emergency room. So like that takes a little bit of time. Or I have patients who are following up, haven't been here in a while. So that takes time. And I also have patients who just want a little quick medication refill. So we're moving today. I feel a little bit better. Um... I'm definitely gonna take lunch today. I'm gonna leave my at my regular time because I'm taking a whole hour, and I'm going at my regular pace today. So sucks to be them. He doesn't approach it or the way they Good respond morning. to it's not like. Uh... I feel so good the work week is almost done hallelujah thank you God um I feel amazing I was in bed by like 10 o'clock last night and um probably fell asleep like not long after and I woke up around like seven ish so um today we're going to work I'm actually early I'm sitting in the, in the, in the um you know in the driveway at my, at my house but it's 
probably gonna take me maybe 30 minutes to get to work or even or maybe even less because there's no traffic given the fact that school's out but i'm gonna get to work early so i'm really hoping that i really really leave early early um typically on my thursdays i have that as my free day because thursdays and tuesdays and thursdays are my free days and then of course the weekend the weekends are just like filled in or they're, they're flexible my solid days are monday wednesdays and fridays when it comes to like what i have to do after work um usually i would be off today um not off but i'll be free to do whatever like you know i'm chilling with my boyfriend if i have errands i have whatever whatever i'm not doing that today i have to switch my schedule because tomorrow's gym session was shifted to today because i now have an appointment for tomorrow to get something done so um yeah yeah guys i feel great i feel amazing um i'm hoping that this energy continues on throughout the course of the day I will see if I can probably get some extra footage. My coworker, shout out to her. She saw my uh, camera yesterday. She's like, you're vlogging? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing a week in the life. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can probably get her to come on camera today. If not, nevertheless, we're gonna breeze through this day, kill it at the gym, um, check one more day off for the week, and that's it. You know how I said I came here like I was on high energy before I came here. I was like uh, excited Bruh I come to work and I see 28 patients are scheduled for um, For me to see today When I left last night, I didn't have this many patients. So some somewhere somehow overnight things changed, but there's one thing that you will you, you need to take away from um working in outpatient settings is that you need a very 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 good team like you need people who work like because I'm, I'm i work that's not my, my well, i don't shy away from work i just work i, I just don't like abuse um <laughs> but you need people who work people who understand their work and then people who also understand how to set boundaries and stuff so i want to send a special shout out to my medical assistant I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know if I if I should even be like you know recording at work, but nevertheless we're here. Um, she definitely gets the job done. Um, very knowledgeable, very um, aware. Um, she has a lot of critical thinking skills, and most importantly, she is like my bulldog. She is my bulldog. She's everything. So, we still we still leave here at 4 o'clock today, regardless. And this is where physical should be, originally. Right here, 1015. This, good. There shouldn't be a double book here, but only the nursing staff could double book. So, yeah. I could double book, but call center or registration cannot double book. So, this is wrong. Then they went in again and, and put another, another physical. physical right here. Then they see no double book and they go and put another physical here. But you know what I wonder? I wonder with them... Who is selling them to do all these physicals? Because I'm getting a lot of physicals generally. Are they, they, are they being told the to make physicals? No. Then they call on the phone. They're just going, okay, I'll just put it here because they have no, like, oh, I don't care. Just put it in. I you see what you mean. bomb rushed and you can't finish because what should be a 15-minute visit turns into a 30 minute. So you have 30 minutes here, 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 30 minutes here. Wait, so let me look at a blank, like a blank template so of mine. So I think you should. everybody I know you're probably looking at me like she's such a hypocrite I had to get coffee this morning I didn't get it for bowel purposes I actually got it because I get points um, and my points are going to expire tomorrow and I don't drink coffee on the weekends I really kind of only drink it like here and now and here, here and again mainly during the work week so I took advantage got me a large coffee but guys it's Friday hallelujah thank you god this week has been so good overall I, I feel well i feel very 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 just light 
um, emotionally light, physically light. Like I feel very, very good. So what's on the what's on the agenda today? We got work, which I'm literally pulling up into the parking lot as we speak. Um, um, hopefully, if we're on time, man, we can leave early today. We can leave at our, you know, early meaning skip lunch and then, you know, just use my lunch hour to go home. Um, we could, we th that's my goal. Um, and of course, we have the, um, I have to go get like my hair done. I have an appointment to go get like my hair washed and braided and stuff like that. That's the appointment that I have to, that I had to, um, that I scheduled today, which caused me to have to skip my, like move my gym session and everything around. But nevertheless, guys, um, we are about to run upstairs, about to get it going. Um, I'm actually right on time. I didn't have to come extra early because I pretty much took care of like all of my work and everything yesterday. So yeah, let's get going. All right, y'all. The time now is 2.15. <sighs> we are counting down the hours. We have about two more hours to go before the day is done. My day was pretty good. Um, very steady. It's the weekend, I guess, for most people. Um, because they're not here today. A lot of like, the patients don't come whenever the weather is really, really, really nice outside. And today is really nice. So, we'll be out of here soon, y'all. The day is done Friday. Thank you so much for coming and going. Um, we are starting our weekend. The weekend for me starts exactly right now. Um, I want to just touch on how crazy our traditional work week is. You know, like having to work five days a week, if you work a, a traditional work week, five days a week or four long, you know, four days, long hours, just to look forward to like a day of two, a day or two of rest is really, really mind blowing to me because I'm coming from three days of work and then normally having four days off like that's what I'm used to even though the three days of work were not easy hours you know they're long physical hours um they're long like 12 hour shifts and they were very very physically demanding but at least I had some you know I had days off now it's like I am so excited to look forward to you know the weekend because I guess like my 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 schedule now coincides with that of like my friends my family my counterparts so we're all kind of like on the same on the same wave and it's like all right so what are we doing this weekend what are we doing smoke nine times out of ten I have something to do on the weekends but as of late sometimes I be having some you know I just want to like chill but nevertheless this is a Hennessy colada with a shot of extra Hennessy in there so we starting off the drinks early the girls are out here and I hope you enjoy this week with me. Um, this is a very realistic week for me. This isn't fabricated, it's not glamorized. It's actually, this is how my work weeks normally are. Um, some days at work are, some days at work are extremely busy. Some days at work are very, very um, mellowed out. But nevertheless, I hope I was able to kind of give you guys just a, an idea of how it is that I get through my weeks. Um, so I would like for you guys to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you liked about this vlog. If you liked anything, let me know what your traditional work week is, especially if you're in healthcare. I would love to see, especially if I have nurse practitioners or um, PAs or just any mid-level provider. I would like to know like, what is your work week traditionally? If you work in a hospital setting, I also want to know what that's like as well. If you'd like to leave that below, but nevertheless, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this vlog, and I'll see you all later. Bye.